Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at ADR and some techniques um, on how to improve your ADR recordings. Firstly, we're going to look at loop recording. So for this to work, you're going to have to do a couple of things um, in the settings for Pro Tools. Um, firstly, you're going to have to go to the Options menu and select Loop Record. So that's now got a tick next to it. Secondly, you need to go to the Pro Tools Preferences menu. So that's within Pro Tools menu, Preferences. And on the Operation tab, so that's the second tab along, we have an option over here in the Record section, which is called Automatically Create New Playlists When Loop Recording. So make sure that's ticked and OK that. And the next thing you're going to do is, so this is your um, track view selector, make sure here we see playlists. Um, if you can't see this section, maybe the track is too small. So make sure your track is at, at least medium height or drag it out so you can see it. What that will do is every time you make a recording, it will add a new playlist so it won't overwrite the previous recording and you can record multiple playlists as many as you want and the idea is that we loop around a section of audio um, until we're happy with um, the recording. So after you've done that you need to select a piece of audio so in this example we've got a clip from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels I'm just going to zoom into the section that I want to replace. I'll see you. So let's just take that as an example, just the word I see you or I'll see you. Um, it's best to break lines up so it's manageable for the actor um, not to do too much at once. So let's just create a selection on my timeline around that line. Yeah, and make sure there's enough space either side. Right, so that's a good section to loop. And we're already in record enable mode. Um, so all we need to do now is start recording and uh, you can do that from the transport control or you can use the shortcut command and spacebar from the transport you hit record and then you hit play what's happening now is we would be recording um, the actor and um, they'd be speaking the line over and over again and each time they do it they should get better because their timing will get better. When we stop recording you can see the playlists have now been populated by um, several takes that we've just done um, and then you're able to sort through those takes and choose the best one. We'll be looking deeper into that in the next tutorial.